Hi friends, uh, morning I released a video, I mean the late night. Um, that's about uh, one of my friends in uh, Edison, New Jersey. I disconnect him now because uh, he got addicted to Amway and then he started trapping me into Amway. The problem with Indians in America is uh, they always look for a second income. That's how they make uh, their spouse's uh, resume fake one and uh, force her to do any kind of work. We need dollars, right? And uh, that's one. And he said, Kumar, uh, what you are telling in the videos is wrong. Then what I explained with the pencil, this is you. And uh, this is uh, any Indian with green card. If you talk and if you give your resume, they will fuck, man. They will take $65 an hour or $25 an hour cut. This is a green card guy, his wife green card holder and then another brother-in-law green card spouse and then another illegal layer another illegal layer you have seen right maryland government client and then prime member and then here is the client see how many people so you have seen that uh, project seven layers fat fat guys these are all pigs basically they eat your money all you need to do is you have to kick them out if you are from consultancy, you will have a, um, one prime member if he has a good relations. Otherwise, they all will sit and eat. That's what I said. Uh, major magnet generalization, but sometimes I have to use the word all. So then you have to kick all them out and then uh, go for a US client full time job 100k, 200k, 500k. So don't worry about K because uh, it's three zeros ultimately. Uh, anybody any slave or worker works here 2080 hours in a year if you calculate or divide by total hours or uh, total hours by total money right total money by total hours then hourly you will get so like this otherwise what happen out if you are coming from h1b or l1a or L, uh, this thing um you are there and then uh, your company employer outsourcing company and this one so what my edition friend Armin is whatever this fucking Indian outsourcing companies, some they call which companies or which companies, we pro TCS and all Infosys. Uh, uh, they are all doing the same thing, resume forward a company. So I will also start a resume forward company by sitting uh, by it's a dot com from my house basement is what is the argument. So then they all will sit. So what is there? So if they all eat your money, you can't even buy underwear also. Like in New York City, that uh, stupid uh, fucking guy, uh, CEO Sunil Savant is missing for uh, the Dada boss. And Ramesh Vendra and Raj Vendra is mainly this company. Six months they didn't pay salary. So you you can't get an underwear, you can't get anything. You can't buy a food, your credit goes up. Then you ultimately I left for India, right? So that's what I advise go for a full time then somebody will ask why don't you go for a full time job every client has an illegal or illegal layer they prefer like for example tcs insert one uh, if delivery manager is tamilian tamilian illegal layer is from karnataka karnataka illegal layer so then uh, your body shop so then you so this is will be like this so they all majority of the americans worked till mainframe Full time after that uh, Indian outsourcing companies they all become uh, layers so Indian outsourcing companies delivery manager HR managers in such layers so if they fire you will sit on the road that's why consulting uh, they don't fire right because they take money from your salary for their taxes and uh, your taxes and medical also so that's how you ultimately everybody works for the client but uh, how many layers are there is the most important just kick them out don't give your resume to indians so some people ask sir is america safe gun culture and all you have to ask is india safe or is uh, working with indians is safe in america indian employers indian vendors indian illegal layers indian roommates so you have to ask this question uh, if you are an h1b if you don't talk to any h1b of the same consulting or outsourcing company of your h1b your life get fucked up here sucks so if you have if you talk to green card holder they will rip you they will try to see how much money in your pocket and they will like change snatchers in india same with the us holder 
US passport with Indians also they do the same thing so if you are an H1B talk to H1B of the same consulting guy or outsourcing company if you are an F1 talk to F1 guys so if he is a genuine or she is a genuine and yesterday one boy wrote right her girlfriend told my video surveys that she is doing crime she is fucking lady doing crime then she is abusing me I can't help it so this is what Indians are doing no Indian has ever started any software development company in America but back home they go to various uh, presentation they tell they have uh, software development that's all bullshit nonsense they are all doing this one so zoom forward eat money or supply body body is important not the brain thank you this is what I told in uh, Telugu but audio is not there so I am remaking it thank you